Well, hey guys, so I am back in the kitchen. So I'm going to be making a little spaghetti squash. Um, I've never done it before, so this is going to be my first time, so hopefully it'll come out good. But I'm going to saute um, some chicken with uh, some onions and bell peppers. And then I'm going to cook some zucchini too, because I love the fresh vegetables. So first I'm going to start off by just cutting it. So now that I have it um, cleaned out, so instead of using like olive oil, I'm going to use, I cannot believe it's not butter, okay? Zero calories. So I'm just going to spray it. And then you season with salt and pepper. some holes in it. Well, oh, tough on your hands a little, Samana. Just like that, now we're gonna put it into the oven. Preheat your oven to 400. And we're gonna let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes and then we'll check it and so see. Now that the squash is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and get that zucchini going. So I'm just gonna spray some, I believe it's not butter. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a little bit of onion to it too. And then I'm going to get this one going too. This is gonna be for my chicken. And this one is Adam's Reserve. It's peppercorn and garlic. From um, got it from HEB a while back. So this is definitely great to saute. Use your meats, but I use it for my veggies too. So we're gonna kind of get that going and get the meat going and some of this here. Yeah, I love it. I love this stuff. It's just so amazing. So it's sizzling. So we're gonna sizzle. So we are done and put about an hour and a half of cooking, but it's all good. But I really, I was like messing with it while ago. I've never, like I've mentioned before, never had spaghetti squash. So I am definitely very interested to see how this is going to come out. And I've already sampled like the squash 
and the chicken and it's just like yeah it is fabulous I mean and that's kind of like what I do I, I just kind of throw something together I really don't follow too many recipes um, even back whenever I wasn't eating healthy I did the same thing too but I wasn't going to do this I was just gonna make like some chicken and some broccoli like how I did at the beginning of the week but I was like you know I love spaghetti so I love Italian food and I was like oh it popped up in my head I'm like oh yeah I can always do some uh, some of this right here <laughs> The spaghetti squash I was like what is it called again but so far I'm down 96 pounds as of uh, the 5th of what is this month June oh my gosh it's already June my birthday is like right around the corner so look how fabulous that looks and this one oh this one cooked really good but this sucker, it was hard to cut. I was just like, yep, I had to stop the video because I'm like, oh, it was tough. So I was like, oh, okay, got to work out cooking. Fabulous. So you just kind of work on the outside and just use your fork to kind of scrape it. And it comes out with that texture where it looks spaghetti. And what's super nice about this is... It is 31 calories for a cup. I just looked it up and I'm just like, what? Not too much fat, not too many carbs. Wow. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh, especially for that pasta. I'm trying to mix that up so that seasoning gets in there. So there you go. There we have it. Let's get a little closer look at that. Ooh-wee. Wow. Isn't that nice? Okay, so I am going to make my plate. So this is my half a cup because my marinara is um, half a cup for 60 calories. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. It smells so good too. It makes me think of the bread stuff. Ooh. So I've got my marinara. I'm gonna measure. I put mushrooms in it because I like. I found some organic ones that were actually um, good. And they were, you know, everything that I do, it was like perfect. Half a cup, 60 calories. That's 31, and then it's like 20 calories for like half a cup of the mushrooms, I believe. So, or maybe two tablespoons. So, there you go. But 60, maybe 80, 110, 120 calories right there. Of course, as you add the chicken, it's gonna, you know, go up. But I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of mozzarella on it to give it that and of course you know it's fat free so fat free of course is a whole lot lower calories um carbohydrates sugar is like wonderful 40 calories for one fourth of a cup but i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on there then i'm going to bring put me some chicken on top of it And I ain't worried about calories because zucchini. Gosh, man, I don't even know if I'll be able to eat all that. It's like a lot, you know, after you, <laughs> after you diet, you know, it's like your stomach shrinks and it's hard to, to eat, but let's go ahead and get in there and take a look at that. Mm-mm-mm. It really does look amazing. So, let me make sure the camera's right. Because I'm 
gonna give it a try real quick. Uh, yes, you have to try this. I already tried this while ago. It's good. Mm. Delicious. So I'm gonna get it beautiful again so I can um, get a nice picture. It's delicious. Ooh, it's really good. I'm glad that I ventured out and tried something new, so yes. So that was amazing. Oh my goodness, that definitely takes care of the pasta, spaghetti, you know, that Italian craving that you get, but told you I couldn't even finish it all. Probably would go with a half a cup, like a cup is like a lot. So good. I hope that you get to try it and let me know what you think of it if you do. All right. Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit more about what I did. Um, so while the squash was cooking... I went ahead and got the, um, the sauteed it, the onions, the bell peppers, and then I did the zucchini with some onion and a little bit of water, and I cannot believe it's not butter spray, and just let that kind of saute for a little while, um, while it cooked. And so then I chopped up the chicken breast, made sure all the fat's off of it, and cut it into dice put it in a little bowl and then i season with salt pepper some onion powder garlic powder rosemary thyme italian and mrs dash um, garlic and herbs and it came out superb <laughs> it came out delicious so definitely a great thing to try it was so delicious i loved it it's like one of the best like healthy dishes I've